So hello friends, today we're going to service one of my favorite lenses and then I'm pretty sure it's also the favorite of a lot of people and then we're talking about the Nikkor 35mm 1.4 the manual version, the AES version that I have here that in my case it has given to me fantastic photographies let me show you just a few And then, okay, this lens, this lens was sent to me for repair by the same person who sent me the 28mm 1.4D that you see in this video. Also, fantastic lens. And then here, this guy here, as you can see, it is extremely dirty on the inside. So what we're going to do is to open it. It is extremely simple to do. And then if you have your lens or you see one on the internet not very expensive because it is extremely dirty on the inside this video is for you so let's start working on it so I have the lens here and then you have here a set screw that we're going to get a bit loose not remove it and then here I'm going to unscrew the front and then we will be able to pull the full optical assembly but before doing that let's just go to infinity like this and then I'll show you why you have this normally Okay, so this is the optical this is the optical part and then this is the body. We'll put the body aside and then here when I put it in infinity I got these two marks to align. These marks come from the factory, I didn't make them. And then this indicates the position of infinity and then here you see that this part this part rotates and then this is the famous uh, close range correction so that allows you to get optical performance from the minimum focusing distance to infinity for this lens so what we're going to do now is to remove this guy here so be extremely careful as I am doing here because when it's going to reach this mark that I made already that I wrote as out it means this guy is going to separate and then it is very important that you mark that position so I mark the position and then I have it, it aligned with the mark, with the factory mark and then like that I will be sure that when I'm going to put this guy in position I will be able to assemble it without trouble and then here I also mark it the position where it's going to end I cannot move any longer so I am sure I am okay so and then this is one of the parts that we want to remove here you don't see a lot but then take the flashlight so you can see a bit of the dirt okay here you go the lens is not very clean so we're going to clean that guy and then here you have two options so you can simply okay let me take this guy just to put it on a base so you can you have here two options this is what I was saying before so you have here this guy and then you can come and clean it from this side so that's an option or if you want to proceed properly so you will need to unscrew this front guy 
which is not easy so what I'm going to do is to pick my rubber globes so these are just garden globes that I use for working in lenses so if you don't have it will be interesting to get a pair I will add a video to that in the description and then here you will have some force to get this guy loose base here black glass and then here what is the light so and then here we have the flashlight and then we can see that this guy is the dirtiest so we're going to clean that as well but before plunging into that so you have this body here which in this case it is okay so we don't have to do anything on it but in case you have for example oil on this diaphragm or something else you can take a look at this video in which the construction of the diaphragm is exactly the same or almost identical so you can work with that with that one to figure how to get this guy working again in case you have trouble with it so I'm going to put it aside and then I have my two elements this is going to be extremely simple and extremely quick so let me stop the video for a few seconds just to get my clean stuff so hello friends I am back I'm ready for the cleaning I got what I need and then here as a reminder this is what we have for this side very very dirty so what we're going to do is to do simple cleaning so first thing we blow make sure we take away the big particles so it looks already a lot better but then there's still some traces so next thing we're going to do and then I always like to do in two steps so I have a microfiber cloth which is a bit older and then one that is newer the newer is obviously to do the second clean so I do the first cleaning and then I use a mixture of distillated water and isopropyl alcohol and then you can mix together and then what I do with that is to remove uh, yeah, the main particles of the earth and so on so on so cleaning I use the le this lens cleaning fluid that you can find on the video description and then here I put this liquid then I use my microfiber cloth to proceed with the clean to remove the dust and then here you go the lens is very very clean now so that's for this side then 
we proceed to the other side let me just find a base to put the glass ok and then here I got a rubber cone that is usually used to disassemble lenses but then in this case we'll use it to hold the optics so it doesn't touch the ground and then scratches so as before we blow we take a look uh, ok it's already not bad so we proceed as before first cleaning then we do the second cleaning And then we're going to put the lens together again. So we start from the back, and then here, if you remember correctly, just we have the mark here, and then we made the mark in the point where it disassembles. So if we look for the mark, we get it immediately. That's first half of the assembly. We blow on the inside and just to make sure we remove all traces or whatever we'll have there. And then here. the bottom so I don't get dust which is going to stick to it and then here we're going to assemble the optical block and then here if you notice there is one factor factory mark that we need to put again so we'll put the rubber gloves to get the two marks to align and then with that I will know it is close so that's for the reassembly of the optical part and then as you can see it is extremely extremely simple and then now the tricky part is to get everything that all that into the body of the lens so we have the optical body that is mounted now and then what we're going to do is to assemble that into the body so first thing we do so is to reach this position so we get the two lines that we saw in the beginning given the infinity that are aligned and then next thing I'm going to do is to make sure I have the diaphragm that is close 
and then with that let me put this guy here I do the same thing into the body so I put the focus into infinity and then the aperture I put it to the minimum and then I have here this Q this small slot that is going to match this part here so what I need to do is simply to get it to slide in position and then obviously I am not perfectly aligned because what I'm going to get in I need to get you have one fork that is here and then that go that fork is going to receive this guy see this guy here and then that's going to do the motion of this element to get to get the close range co close range correction and then the other part is this lot here that is okay this slot here that is going to receive uh, this guy here so it can open and close the diaphragm so again I come in position here I get the pin aligned with the opening as I showed to you before and then I will be blocked here so that means I, I am not perfectly aligned with the fork that goes to the infinity so what I do is to, I think I probably got it so that one is okay and then I am still blocked I cannot move and then what I need to do is to get the diaphragm so I got in so it's working and then here if I wiggle it just a bit more I get the fork that does the focusing also in position and then just to finish the assembly so I just need to put this guy in okay. that's completely out and then normally there is like a mark here where you are going to screw and then push this guy against the thread but then as I can see on this lens it was it was forced so and then you can see the mark clearly so we're going to make it that goes here so that will be in the middle okay it goes just a bit further and then going to close just a bit and then the last thing we need to do is to make sure that when we do the rotation for the focusing this guy here behind is going to rotate as well and then that means is moving when we do the focusing and then that's all this guy is good for keeping going, keep going for another 40 years and then just let's make sure we are cleaner than before and then here you go you don't have those ugly traces anymore so this is all I wanted to show today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?